Assalamualaikum Freedom Simit Oi Peace be upon you Today I want to talk about my understanding of electromagnetism As usual please do not take this information as a scientific truth Please prove this information yourself and then you can make your own opinion From my observations I can say that we actually don't have electromagnetic wave. There is no electromagnetic as a wave. There is no such thing. What we do have are potential field and magnetic field. They are two different things but coexist together. You cannot see them both at the same time. Just like two faces of a coin. You will see one side or the other at a time. I will split my explanation in three parts. First, potential or electrical field. Second, magnetic field. And third, Tesla coil system. Let's go on to the first part. Here, um, for example, we have a uh, metal sphere hanging on the air and in this example I will connect this metal sphere with a um, potential source and we connect the uh, positive side of the uh, potential source to the uh, sphere and then the negative um, terminal is connected to the ground. And here we have another metal sphere hanging on the air and we will have this um, negative charge concentrated on this side and then the uh, positive charge is concentrated on the other side. If we change the polarity like this We connect this metal sphere with the uh, negative terminal of the uh, potential source and the uh, positive ter terminal is connected to the uh, ground. We will have the uh, positive charge concentrated on this side and the uh, negative charge is concentrated on this side. Now, if we give, if we connect this sphere with um, alternating polarity of potential, we will find this sphere um, positive and negative. It depends on the uh, reference point actually. We can see it um, also um, uh, more positive and then less positive or positive and negative or um, very negative and less negative like this. <coughs> For example, if we take this point as a uh, reference point, we will see that the polarity is uh, alternating from positive to negative. If we take this point as a reference, we will see that the uh, polarity is going to negative. And if we take this uh, point as a uh, reference point, we will see that the uh, uh, charge will be positive and then uh, less positive and then go back to positive okay on this system <coughs> we will have alternating um, charge on this sphere and the uh, charge of this sphere will be moved back and forth. 
I mean, the positive charge move back and forth depends on the uh, charge on this um, sphere, and the negative charge will be moving back and forth as well. Even though the uh, net charge stays the same. Okay? Now, if we have another uh, sphere like this, what we have is on uh, if this sphere is positive this side will be negative and this side will be positive and this side will be negative and this side will be positive so if we alternate the uh, potential the charge will be moving back and forth and also this one will be moving back and forth now, let's go on to the uh, second part. This is the uh, magnetic system. With um, alternating potential, we will create um, alternating magnetic field. For example, if we see the uh, positive uh, potential is here, negative potential is here, we will have a uh, north uh, magnetic pole here and the uh, south magnetic pole here. So if we alternate the uh, uh, potential polarity we will get the uh, um, alternating uh, magnetic uh, polarity as well. As we know, if we, okay, with um, alternating polarity, if the uh, magnetic field um, collapse, collapses, we will get electricity out. This is the uh, <coughs> explanation. The red line is the uh, potential field and the blue line is the uh, magnetic field. So we will not see potential uh, field and magnetic field at the same time. If we have strong potential field, we will get um, low magnetic field. If we get strong magnetic field, we will get low potential field. So <coughs> the uh, potential field will be concentrated here and at that time there is no magnetic field here and if we have magnetic field here we will have no potential field here and the uh, polarity um, is also alternating if we have strong potential here and this side is positive this side is negative and then if there is no um, potential um, field here. We will have north magnetic pole here and south magnetic pole here. And then we will have again strong potential field here, but with inverse polarity. It means this side will be positive and this side will be negative. And then again, if there is no uh, potential field here, we will get strong magnetic field, he field here, and this will be north, and this will be south. Okay, just like this graph. Now, um, I'm going to talk about the uh, 
Tesla coil system. This is um, classical Tesla coil. We have um, winding here and we have top load. We can connect the uh, one of the uh, uh, coil end to the uh, ground to the earth and the other one to the top load or we connect <coughs> we can also connect both um, ends of the uh, coil with um, uh, metal sphere for example okay in this system we have earth as um, reference and the polarity of this um, potential field will be positive and negative okay and the uh, magnetic field or magne magnetic polarity will be um, north on top, um, south at the bottom, and vice versa. Okay? <clears throat> In this um, bipolar Tesla coil, we will see um, if this one is positive, this one will be negative, and there is no magnetic uh, field. If there are, there is no uh, charge difference here we will have strong magnetic field here and with uh, Tesla coil we can actually excite this coil with um, both um, fields I mean we can normally on Tesla coil, we use a magnetic field as an exciter, but we can also excite the coil using potential field, like this, or we can use both. Okay, and if we have two bipolar Tesla coils. What we have is actually we excite this receiver with both fields, with magnetic field and also with potential field. If both coils have the same resonance frequency, <coughs> um, this uh, Tesla coil if this is the uh, transmitter this will be uh, this will resonate as well by using both fields okay um, what I want to say is uh, the uh, field strength is um, going weaker with uh, the distance if you put if you have um, great distance between both coils the field the uh, potential and mag magnetic fields uh, cannot reach the uh, receiver coil what we can do is just put another coil in between like this if this is the uh, transmitter and this is the end receiver we can just put um, the uh, identical Tesla coil in the middle so if the uh, 
transmitter excites the uh, this middle coil and if this coil resonates it will excite the uh, receiver Tesla coil okay <clears throat> now what is special with Tesla coil we can put the uh, receiver inside the Faraday cage and we can still excite this receiver why? because like I uh, said before if we have this um, sphere positive and we will see the outer side of the uh, Faraday cage negative and this inner side will be positive and that's enough to excite the uh, receiver inside the uh, Faraday cage okay now I think the earth is also um, it um, works like Tesla coil. We have magnetic uh, polarity north on top, south at the uh, bottom. <coughs> and if we um, I think the earth is also resonating if we have now the uh, north pole on this side um, we will have this north pole on this side but uh, the uh, the uh, resonance frequency of the earth is very very low because of its mass okay now we have this positive on top at the uh, north pole on top south pole at the bottom um, um, if if it resonates we will see that the uh, magnetic earth magnetic field uh, strength um, is decreasing and we will have stronger potential field of the earth and I think the potential field of, uh, of the earth will be will be on this side okay that's why we see um, aurora only on near the uh, um, pole, not at the uh, uh, equator. Okay, I think the Earth is also resonating. Um, I don't know when we will have no. Uh, magnetic field but we will have strong potential field and then we will have another uh, strong magnetic field with uh, reverse polarity north will be here south will be here and again we will have no uh, magnetic field on the earth, on um, um, of the earth and we will have another potential field. At the potential field, the plus and minus is also alternating. Like this one. Okay. I think that's it for today.
um, until next video bye bye